Graphing, more point slope form. Example one, write the equation of the line in the graph in point slope form and slope intercept form. Well, let's start with slope point form. What is my base equation for slope point form? It is missing three items. It's missing the coordinates for one point and the slope. So what do we need to find the slope? Well, we need two points to be able to find the slope. So I'm going to go up my line until it, it lands on a spot right on the grid. There is one of my points. That point is over 3 and up 4. Therefore, its coordinate is 3, 4. But remember, I need two points. So I'm now going to go down the graph until I hit another point right on the grid. That point is over one in the negative direction and down three or negative one, negative three. At this point, I can now find the slope. I can use the slope of formula of rise over run versus the coordinate formula because I'm given a graph. So going from negative three to four, I would go up seven. My run is gonna wind up being from negative one to three which is over four. Therefore, my slope is rise over run or seven over four. So I can now substitute this into my equation. I now need to put in the values for one of my points. Notice I've got two points. I'm gonna start with the top one. So my top point is y2 is four and x2 is three. So I'm going to put those in. Now, notice I do not have double negatives, therefore that would be my final answer. But is this, that the only answer? And the answer is no. I could actually use the other point and substitute in negative 3 for y2 and negative 1 for x2, giving me a slightly different formula. Both of these formulas would be acceptable. Example B an equation of line in slope-intercept form. So, what is slope-intercept form? Well, it's y is equal to mx plus b. So, I am now going to enter in the slope because I'm already given that. So, my slope is 7 over 4. I replace m with 7 over 4. Notice, we have three unknowns here. This is a problem. We cannot find the y-intercept as long as we have three unknowns. However, if these points are on the line, that means I can substitute them into the equation and they will work. So I'm going to substitute three for X and four for Y. Could I use the other point? Yes, and it should still give me the same answer. At this point, I wanna get B alone, which means I've got to deal with seven over four multiplied by three. So I'm going to multiply these out, which is going to give me 7 times 3 is 21 over 4. I now need to isolate for B, which means getting rid of 21 over 4. To do this, I'm going to subtract because it's being added to B. So I subtract 21 over 4 from both sides. Now remember, when I add or subtract fractions, I need to have a fraction subtract another fraction. So I'm going to put 4 over 1. Now, when I subtract fractions, I need a common denominator. So my common denominator between 1 and 4 is 4. So what I do to the bottom, or denominator, I must do to the numerator. So for my first fraction, to go from 1 to 4, I multiply by 4. I'm going to multiply the numerator by 4 as well, giving me 16 over 4. I now substitute, I now subtract my numerators. 16 minus 21 is negative five over four. I'm ready to write out my equation now. I have both y-intercept and I have slope. So my equation is gonna be y is equal to seven over four x minus five over four. And that would be my final answer. Example two, 
Jerry is working on an experiment where he measures the volume of a mystery liquid versus the mass. He records the following. Notice there are four entries. Now, write the formula for the uh, line in slope point form and slope intercept form. Well, let's start with slope point form. What do we know about slope point form? We need the slope and we need the coordinates for one point. So how do we calculate the slope? We aren't given a graph, but we are given four entries. Well, if you look at these entries, you'll realize that these are actually coordinates where volume represents my X or independent variable and mass represents my Y or dependent variable. So I have four points that allow me to calculate the slope. Because I've got points, I'm going to use the point formula. y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Now, which, for, which two points should I use? Well, the answer is you can use any of them and you should get approximately the same answer. I've decided I'm going to work with the first two because I think they're the easiest to work with. So my y1 is going to be 71. My y2 is going to be 91. My x1 is going to be 0 because it matches up with 71. And my x2 is going to be 50. When I subtract these, 71 minus 91, I get negative 20. 0 minus 50, I get negative 50. I recognize that I can simplify this. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. And 20 over 50, I can take a 10 out, giving me 2 over 5. So I write out my slope point formula where I've inputted 2 over 5 in for m. Now I need to fill in the values for one point. Notice I've got four points. So there could be four different answers for this equation. I've decided I'm going to work with the second point. I'm going to input 91 for y2 and 50 for x2. Now, you can use any one of these four points, but the values have to come from the same point. So that's my answer, although you could have gotten three other answers. All right, let's move on to slope-intercept form. Now, what do we know about slope-intercept form? It's y is equal to mx plus b. So first of all, what do I know? I know m, or slope, is 2 over 5. So I can fill that in, replacing m with 2 over 5. But now I need to find b, or my y-intercept. Now, do I need to do the same thing I did in the previous example? Well, what do we know about the y-intercept? Well, we know the y-intercept is the point where my line crosses the y-axis. On the y-axis, all x values are 0. Therefore, if I have an x value of 0, the matching number has to be my y-intercept. Look at my first point. It has an x value of 0. That means that its matching y value has to be my y-intercept. So, I don't have to do the work. I can just enter 71 in for my y-intercept, giving me my final formula of y is equal to 2 over 5x plus 71. Example 3, perpendicular and parallel lines. Here, we're given the equation of the line y is equal to 4 over 5x plus 3. And we're asked to write the equation of the line in slope point form, that is, a parallel to it, going through the point negative 4, 5, and b perpendicular to it, and going through the point 2, 3. Well, let's start with a. First, I write out my base equation. Notice I've got three unknowns y2, slope, and x2. First thing I need to know is what is my slope? Well, this line is parallel to the original line. What do we know about parallel slopes? They are the same. Therefore, if my original slope is 4 over 5, then my new slope is also 4 over 5. Now, I need to enter the values of one coordinate. They've given me that coordinate, so I can enter in 5 for y2 and negative 4 for x2. Notice my x values have that double negative. 
I can simplify this to x plus 4, giving me my final answer of y minus 5 is equal to 4 over 5 multiplied by x plus 4. Now, it's very important that you don't forget both brackets in the x value, an opening and a closing bracket. Question B, I need to create a line, equation of line that is perpendicular to my original line and going through the point 2, 3. So again, let's start with my base equation. Notice I've got three unknowns, the coordinates for one point and my slope. Let's address the slope first. My original slope is 4 over 5, but I want to know the slope of a line that is perpendicular to this. So what do I know about perpendicular slopes? They are opposite and reciprocal. The opposite of 4 over 5 is negative 4 over 5. The perpendicular, or sorry, the reciprocal of 4 over 5 is flipping 4 over 5 or 5 over 4. So my perpendicular slope is going to be negative 5 over 4. So I enter this in replacing m. Now I need to input the values for a single point. They've given me the point 2, 3. So I'm going to replace y2 with 3 and x2 with 2. Notice I don't have any double negatives, which means that I can just write out the answer as is, and that would be my final answer.